remember this mix from the Malcolm mix. Uh, remember, I have another channel which is called uh, Endless Inspirations, and we talk about a few things that day in life, how we can go about with life. Today, I want to talk about what you call salary of the security guards. Yes, a lot of questions, or very many questions, keep on pouring in what we call in the inbox, and it's all about the salary of security guards. Yes, before we try to discuss the salary of the security guard, there are two things that you definitely need to know. You need to know what you call the labor law, you need the labor law in Qatar. Then you definitely also, you need to understand what is the prevailing basic salary and what are what is actually given for the role. And that is quite very important right now. When we talk about the salary of the security guards, before you begin discussing and having what you call expectations which are going to be higher than the reality, know what is the basic salary apparently by the government or by the law. The basic salary by the law, it is 1,000. That is for eight hours of anyone who works for eight hours you get a basic salary of 1,000. Then apart, apart from the basic salary of 1,000, you are given a top-up of food allowance, which is what called 300 riyal. So meaning that in total, if you are to be paid a month for eight hours, you are going to be earning 1,300. For those companies that are not giving housing, they will add you, uh, they will add you 500 on top of that. So for your eight hours, you'll be earning 1,800. So before you come to Qatar as a security guard, before you come to Qatar as a cleaner, before you come to Qatar as any, any low-skilled job, because these are two types of jobs we are talking about. We are talking about the high-skilled and the low-skilled jobs. When you talk about the low-skilled jobs, the security guards, the cleaners, the other, that one in that category, is that you definitely know your basic salary is going to be starting from 1,000. Top up 300 for food is going to be 1,300. If you're not given housing, then you have 1,800. So it is going to be in that ratio. So stop having what you call the higher expectations. And then when you are recruited by that company or by that sponsor, then definitely you start making drama for that cause. That is what you're supposed to earn. Unless... Otherwise, there's some entitlement that you are supposed to get on top of that. That is always discussed in what we call the offer letter. And that offer letter, it will stipulate, it will stipulate everything that you're supposed to get. And when it gets to the contract, all will be listed out. What you are entitlements, what you are entitled to, and what you'll be paid at the end of the month. Depending on what kind of duration or how long are you going to be working? Eight hours? Uh, six hours, nine hours, 12 hours. That is going to be duration. But remember, the startup hours for non-skilled job is going to start from eight hours. That is what you call the basic pay starts from eight hours. So your expectation or your reality in the way you're thinking when you are looking for this job in this Gulf country, definitely your reality and expectation should let it, let it be station or let it be focused on that level that you are going to be earning that amount of money that's going to be start up. When it comes to overtime, if it is stipulated in what you call your offer letter or your contract, and the amount of the overtime is, is written out clearly that your overtime per one hour, it will be, let's say, for example, 50 real. It is clearly written out and stipulated in that offer letter and that contract. So that is you have a right for it to fight for it. But let's say, for example, it is not stipulated and the say the company would say the rest will be overtime. So it will be up to them to discuss or it will be up to them to give you the overtime they want. So you find that sometimes you have what you call varying salaries at the end of the month, depending on how you work. If you take day off, if you don't take day off, or if you took more day off than another person. So your salary are not going to be the same. Unless the company has a policy that all people who get six days off will be paid this amount. Or two days off will be paid this amount of money. Or if you get three days or four days, you'll be paid off this amount of money. Or if you do not get any day off, you'll be paid this amount of money. That is where exactly you need to understand when it comes to that salary. Before you begin to complain with the salary that is being given to you at the end of the year or at the end of the month. 
We have families. We do have families. We do have people we look after. But you find that sometimes that money is not enough when it's given to you, when you came to the time, try to start to divide it one way or the other. But remember what you sign. Remember what you sign. Let the what you not sign does not comparably make you make a fight with a sponsor or make someone who gave you the visa because of that money. Because you need more money which you did not sign for in the contract to solve your problems or your problems or, or to solve your family issues. This sponsor is going to get rid of you. That is what happened. He's going to get rid of you by replacing you, by terminating you, and you know you, you end up losing everything. Let's say, for example, you've worked with that sponsor for two years or three years, and he decides to terminate your bleach of misconduct, he has a right of not even paying you a single of what you call the end of service bonus. So, just quickly know that that one is going to be in that level. Then let us look at situation two. Situation two for security guards or for any other close skilled up. It will depend. Most of us or most of us come to these Gulf countries. We do not come with a title that I have come as a supervisor. You come as a merely normal, normal person that is being recruited. But remember, when you come to this company, they will identify those people with the skills. They will identify those people with the resilience. They will identify those people who are hard working. Then they will add you a title. They will add you to another position. Let's say they give you a team leader. And that team leader, depending on the company, it will be it will be with what you call an extra entitlement to you. Let's say an addition of 100, an addition of 200, depending on how you accept it. Right? But if you are not given to that at one moment of time, then definitely know your salary is going to be down or your salary is going to be the same with other people at the same time. So never have a lot of expectation that I'm going to receive 5,000, I'm going to receive as what you call the agents tell you or what you call the agents misleading people which is not the case so when you talk about salary of security guard depending on which kind of company you are going to work to you are going to have a startup of the basic salary of eight hours which is going to be 1300 remember i told you most of the security guard most of the companies here or most of the cleaning companies do give accommodation to their employers who do their employees they do give you accommodation so meaning that for that case what you have in hand or what you have on your table to divide or to sort out all your problems you have is the 1300 that you need to have to send to your family have your eating take care of yourself and something else that we definitely need to talk about also is what you call the medical most of you medical 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 you need to access the medical it is what you call the medical card. You need to have what you call an unhealthy card. An unhealthy card that is going to help you to access the medical at a cheaper price. That is in what you call the government hospitals. Unless otherwise that you have a very bigger problem that you need to be solved in one way or medical that you need to access, but still you need to access what you call the government hospitals. What is Hamad Hospital, which is a little bit cheaper than what you call the private medical centers we have, which are extremely are expensive that when you're going to convert back to your home country's currents it's a little bit higher than even some of sometimes even half of your salary is being taken after so for the security guard for all cleaners if you are coming to Qatar definitely know what you are going to start up as your money or as your salary that should be within the line of your expectation should be 1000 for eight hours and the food allowance is going to be 300 that is what is gazetted by the government and that is what's gazetted by the law in Qatar regarding what we call salary. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's next creation. Don't forget to tap on my other channel, which is Endless Inspiration. There's a lot of things that we get to share regarding life, personal life. We can share also. By the way, don't, get, don't forget to tune into what we call my TikTok account. It's at next creation, at next creation account at TikTok. It also has some interesting things you get to see, a lot of things you get to hear, a lot of things that you never expected to hear, that you did not, or anyone else cannot let you know. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's makes from the man comment see remember it's makes from the Malcolm X. Max Creation TV and the TikTok account. My Instagram account is Max Creation. Max Samuel at 20. You can also get to that. We can try to see a bit of a few things that we can enjoy. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.